Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome to Grognard and Friends. And speaking of the friends, let's check out this week's episode of Grognard and Friends. As we left the friends, they had finally made it out of the eastern districts and back to the stone's throw, only to find it sealed shut with a note stating that one Beauregard Butterbeer was in custody for crimes against the palace. The group, group broke in to not only get some rest, but to get their shit together and decide what to do next. Gaius, who felt guilty that they couldn't help Calandra find her quarry, decided to try and make it up to her by allowing her to pull a card from a magical deck that they had discovered long ago in the Stradivernius house. A deck that supposedly went by many names, but was most commonly known as the Trial, with each of the cards being called the Judges. After a while, everyone got in on the act, since nothing really seemed to happen when they pulled the cards except for one uh, unfortunate one that involved Gaius and Reed, even though Gaius was the only one who pulled the card. And then later that night, a few of the friends had mysterious visitors that seemed to be connected with the cards that they had pulled. The friends had contacted Murph, who told them to meet them that night at a bar called the Rubber Ducky, which was down on the docks. On the way, they saw a house that had been broken into. Vivalda went to investigate, and they were going to see what they could do and make sure that these people did not rob this house. So, friends, you're outside of this house. The front door's busted in. Vivalda, you've heard a couple people inside making comments about it sounds like they're ransacking the place. What do you do? I go back out to the party, and I'm... I really think that we can scare them off, at least. I think there's about <coughs> the same amount. I think we might be able to take them, but, um, you know, maybe, we could just maybe, scare them off. We maybe don't... guys could make those those scary ghost things that fly around. Your spirit. Yes, I mean, around you and me scary days. yes. Adding to the pravities that have so far happened to the city, I am of the mind I want to at least scare these looters off. Bacchus forbid the owners of the domicile are still inside and might be hurt. At the very least, we try this. If need be, right. uh, knowing our luck, we'll draw the city guard immediately, who will assume we are the bad guys for some reason. And we will handle it very poorly. Don't shake your head, Paul. <laughs> this is Chris speaking now. I know that is a random roll on that table you have somewhere, <laughs> hidden on a legal notepad. <laughs> I I know I, you I, too well. <laughs> we drink on the regular. I, I was going to say I was fine with ignoring this until you said the note on the legal pad, which yeah. is what I have with me. I always. definitely yeah. didn't read the last time I was at your house, <laughs> snooping around. Well, they're all over not, the house. No, so none of that part could have true. read just about yes. anything. Yeah. No, well, because the as a fellow, and, sorry. But if the gods do come the and they wall. try to accuse us, I could talk to them as <laughs> I am a warden and perhaps negotiate. Oh. Like just polite out of all of us. I'm just a humble priest. <laughs> Eldridge just kind okay. of looks well, around, them. looks at you, and looks at the rest of you like no one's going. Everyone's just going to let we're that. All, we're we're all just stunned, <laughs> stunned into silence. <laughs> <laughs> As Gaius is cackling. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so let's definitely take care of these robbers. The laugh was in a very Tim Curry style, which I appreciated. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. What was this command and conquer? We shall go. 
to space. <laughs> I smell a bozo. Oh, you are outside chatting. Uh, Gaius is behind Vivalda cackling. Uh, quietly, so I don't ruin the Quietly surprise. cackling. <laughs> <Got it>. Quietly. <laughs> yeah. Quietly. Yeah. Quietly yeah. He's, done, he's done enough nefarious things at this part where he's... <laughs> Like his shoulders are just kind of like shaking. We should like to Eldred go says, first. Eldred says he's either giggling or going to throw up. I'm not sure. Mm. Oh, I take a step up. back from Gaius. <laughs> <laughs> Swallowed it. Swallowed it. We're good. Okay. Would you like me to go in first? Well, I mean, if you um, if you think you can intimidate them, uh, be my guest. Do you I think I can do that. Do you need backup? I think butt um, trumpets probably could, the best of intimidation. Well, I could probably just say that I have backup to intimidate them, and then you guys could come in. Maybe that's yeah. what you should cackle. I'm gonna go inside, and I go. And <laughs> I'll listen at the door. <laughs> and then, well, I hear, it was nice. I hear from all the screaming. Again. <laughs> they died well. Oh, so anyway, geez. we have got to a Harry Lemon or something. <laughs> what? Harry. <laughs> Have you been getting in uh, Eldred's wine skin again? No. We talked about this last yeah, hours so ago. Um, I would go towards where I hear place. any sound. Where where would I hear the sound coming from? Uh, there's a door up above you there. That's where you mm -hmm. hear some stuff sounding like it's being smashed. Uh, you okay. hear some footsteps overhead, but also in that direction. Okay, I'm gonna go in that direction then. As as soon as Viv goes in there, Viv. I turn to everybody else and I'm like, "This is a bad idea. Why are we splitting up?" <laughs> I don't know. Reed, this is go, a very bad go idea. look through a window or something. Go look through oh. a window or something to see if Viv needs help. Okay. I do that, Paul. Where do you go there, Reed? Do I think she's going upstairs? Is this like a two-story? It looks like a two to three-story building. You're, so, you so, and the rest of the group are standing right in front of the alleyway to the right of the building. So from where we're at, Paul, auditory-wise, does it sound like we know? It sounds like most of the people are above us. Is there stuff on our level? You had initially heard some noise inside of things sounding like things being smashed. It was... Yeah. It was Vivalda who snuck up to the door, who actually was able to hear some voices. That was right about it. At the moment, none no, of, nobody close, outside is really hearing anything. Yeah, so Reed, just look through a window, see if Viv needs help then. Okay. Well, is there whatever windows is the, in the front? The near, yeah, I was going to say, the nearest open window, I'm going to climb and do and the, then you know, just, just the eyeballs over the boost. Soap. If Reed needs a boost, guys, is just underneath one okay. foot in cross palms lifting up. Reed, you see what looks like a living room. Uh, there is a table in the front with stuff scattered across it. Looks like paperwork and stuff. There are a number of couches in the room that uh, some of them have been pulled away from the walls or tipped over. Okay. Room's empty. Is this the big first room? Yeah. It's a, okay. Okay. All right. And if I see Viv go through another... You don't room. see Viv. To... Here we go. Okay, Viv. So there are stairs to your right, mm -hmm. and directly across from the door you came in, there is another door. And you uh, give me a perception check, please. Dirty 20. You definitely hear movement in there. You hear rifling of some things, and you hear like occasional exclamations like, oh, damn stuff like that that's about it though okay from upstairs or from the door right above you that door that's shut right above me you came in one door the door across from where you came in that is shut okay that's right here got it yes i'm gonna go inside that door then okay you also hear noise upstairs with that okay. roll i'm just you gonna hear... sweep through the bottom floor first okay and then make my way up go ahead and move yourself so Okay, you open the door and step in. What you see is two guys going through some cabinets, some uh, what look like dressers and such. They immediately hear you come in, turn, mm -hmm. and draw swords, 
and come towards you. Roll initiative. Okay. Well, we're going to just fight right off the bat. Oh, not great. <laughs> I got a two plus four, so six. I am going to let you go first because they basically tied you, but uh, wow. I'm, I'm going to okay. give you first initiative here. So go Thanks. ahead. So I would come in. I already have, um, I'll say that my short sword and my shield are ready. And um, immediately I'd be like, stop what you're doing. We have the place surrounded. Come with me. Okay. So, you know, to give you a quick sense of the room, there mm -hmm. are, there is a couch right in front of you, a, a kind of love seat to the right. There's a big carpet on the floor. There is a desk behind the couch that has, the couch has been moved up against it. Uh, they're okay. going through a bunch of different things. You say that. And mm -hmm. one of them goes, Ollie, we got company. And they both charge you. I was not intimidating enough. <laughs> An eight? Nope. A 17? That hits. And a 15 from a dagger? Uh, no, because I have my shield out. So the second one hits you for six points of damage. Just kind of slices across your arm. And okay. the other one, like, swang, swung, and you you ducked that one. And the other one kind of also tried to jab you with a dagger, but it, your shield was able to deflect it. And it is your turn. Well, if they're attacking me, I'm going to attack them. So I'm going to attack this guy on my right here. Okay. Um, am I able to do my warden's charge right now? This is your first round, so I'm going to say that you can do it. And let me just pop that up so I remember how to do that again. Um, I'm going to do that. I think I just am able to attack both of them through mm -hmm. one attack. I'm going to roll. Just remember, you have to mush. move when you're doing it. Oh, no. Girl, we got to stop <laughs> rolling twos. That's not okay. <laughs> okay, roll against the second one. So you missed the one that, that had mm -hmm. hit you. Okay, 24 on the other one. Oh, that definitely hits. It's going to be eight piercing damage on that guy. Okay, and where do you I end up? Through them. No, it's good. I'll just stand right there then so that I'm behind them. And that is my turn. Uh, I would like to call out, though. I need backup in here! Like, real loud, hoping that someone can hear me outside. So the first one actually leaps over this table trying to grapple Ooh, and everything fancy. and rolls a two so oh. he stumbles on the other side and but keeps his footing nice try <laughs> the other one rolls a 14 for his main sword and a 14 uh, for his dagger both miss i'm gonna come at them both with my short sword again i'm gonna do the one who I'm going to be nice. I'd like to go after the one who didn't fall and, and <laughs> over the table. 18. That definitely hits. Another eight piercing. I need one of you to make a group perception roll, please. My perception is ass, so I uh, recommend not me. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. That's usually what I'm good at. You mean one roll, Paul? One roll, yeah, for the group. Yeah. Dias, you're our man. Look at those. 18. 18? Okay. Uh, Vivaldo, what was it they heard? Um, I shouted out, I need backup in here. Oh, and so as I'm boosting Reed up, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, not eat, more like throw him over my shoulder and start running into the doors. Ah, Mr. How? Stumble uh, rolls a 20. Ah, yes, that would hit. Okay. Um, is the other one that I just hit it still standing? Yes. Uh, he's not looking great, but he's still standing. And that is four points of damage. The one you hit rolled a 15 and an 8. Neither hit. And it is your turn. You said the one who I just hit is looking pretty bloodied, right? Yeah, he, he's not like on the okay. verge of death, but he's not doing great. The guy who just hit me, the one who stumbled, I'm going to attack him now. Let's see. 23. Definitely hits. Six piercing. 
You stab and, and get a nice slash across his cheek. Ooh. Down to his neck. And he yells, Ali, we've got company! Okay, so guys, you were with... Reed at whatever window, I guess that... And Calandra, Eldred, and Butt Trumpet were all together. Outside the alley, looking not the least bit suspicious. Yeah, basically like, Viv needs help! Okay. Viv needs help upstairs! Calandra is busy polishing the, the spikes on her shoes at the moment. Is it doesn't yeah. hear what you're saying, guys. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. I fastball special Reed into Calandra to get her attention. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reed, all of a sudden you feel oh. yourself lifted up and go ahead and make a strength check there, uh, Gaius. All right, sure. Toss, why not? Tossing the halfling. Why, why not? Don't <laughs> worry, I won't tell the elf. <laughs> Can I, can I make it's an athletics there, Paul? To. Uh, sure. Sure, absolutely. You can't just throw people. Oh, yeah! Actually, oh, boy. I can. And I do it <laughs> very well. I'm just like... Just, uh, I'm going uh, to say... With the uh, wind. Uh, I'm going to say do 1d4 plus your strength bonus. <laughs> On because Calandra. you did natural 20 and then double it. Oh my god. On Calandra, not Reed though, right? Right. Oh no. I mean, oh, no. They could... doing my standard. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> of course. So I immediately knock Calandra out with Reed, apparently. But... So seven. So that's 14. 14 then. I okay, Calandra, you, uh, you were busy I kind of looking teach... around, looking at your boots, going. They need to be polished. And when all of a sudden you get like slammed across the head by Reed once again, knocking Look you out. prone Stop. with him on top. <laughs> and Reed, I need you to make me a dexterity uh, saving throw to see if you take any damage. We have got to stop and meeting can, like this. And I gotta <laughs> I continue my streak of hitting people with other people. I got a seven. Okay, take three points of damage. Why are you always on top of me, Reed? Sorry, I, I didn't have anything to do with it this time, I swear. And now it's the top of the order. Meanwhile, round gonna with cut away from, Viv. Gonna cut away from the Keystone Cops. Here we go again. I'm gonna hit him. Okie dokie. Which one, which one looks the most bloody now? Uh, the lower one. The one that you've hit twice, whereas you... The first okay. one you only hit once. Okay, I'm going to hit the guy right in front of me again. Why should the other one have all the fun? I understand. Uh, her plan as of right now is wound them enough and then question. Let's see here. Not great, <coughs> 12. Okay, unfortunately that misses. A four, nope. a 14, and a six. And at that point, this door opens up. And this guy comes in, but from his movement, I'm going to give him disadvantage on his to hit. 19 and a 6. So he misses. 19 hits. Yeah, but I gave him disadvantage because oh, right. it was kind of like stretching. I'm going to say that opening the door, he was able to get inside, but... Just came in opening the door? <laughs> right. You've been with this group long enough. You've seen that way of door opening. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Reed, you are on top of Calandra. I will uh, hop up, and then I will try to pull Calandra up to her feet and be like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Focus, we got shit to do. Viv's in trouble. <laughs> this takes my whole action. I'll do it. Help Viv, that's why I made the executive decision to throw you halfway down in the alley. All right, so I kind of brush Calandra off real quick, and then I dash. <laughs> so Thank sorry. you. Sorry, it's okay. Do I know which way to go? Give me a perception check. And I'm going to give it to you with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I get to re-roll a one. <laughs> wow. Re-roll the one. Awful. That was awful. I was going to hey, say, if you roll a three next, I think you just need to take the rest of the you, you come in here and go, too hard. this is the room I saw through the window. <laughs> Oh, boy. 
It's Eldred's turn. He just goes, are, are we going? Are we doing this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Butt Trumpet, it is your turn. Alrighty. <laughs> I haven't entered the premises yet, so I gotta do that first. You come in behind Reed. <laughs> but, um, You're going, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Yes, exactly. Make me a perception check there, Butt Trumpet. One of my worst skills. We don't perceive nothing. I'm just looking at the door. I don't see anything. You and, you and <laughs> you me are pointing at each other like that Spider-Man meme. We're both like, hey. You come in, you see Reed looking around got like with this look like, oh, I recognize this room. And you go, yeah, it's a big room. Uh, Gaius, it is now your turn. Good question, Paul. I was so that, glad to help. That, that window oh. I'm at. Yes. So dramatic. What, what is that noise? What is happening? So I asked. I asked about a window. It got real intense. Eye level. Where? Where is that in relation to? It's I'm like shoulder level, but you could you could probably make an acrobatics I th- or I throw myself. Th- yeah, I do that. I throw myself through the window. Action! Action! Movie star style. You got athletics. It. Go. <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh, whoa. Awesome. So two in a row. Hey. So, Butt Trumpet and Reed are in this living room, looking around going, this is a pretty nice room. When all of a sudden, through the window to the right, there's this massive explosion of glass. In comes this massive form that rolls across the the carpet, stands up, and and a la Jim Belushi in, in Animal House kind of goes... And what do you do next there, guys? I dive in, stand up, just brush everything off. I'm like, that worked surprisingly well. And then I dash upstairs. Okay, well, you're not, you you can't see any stairs, so give me a perception check. Wait, all right, question. How many doors are in this room, aside from the door to go outside? Okay, there is the door, the window you came in. There is a door here. Okay. And there is an open door here. Yeah, I run toward the open door. (laughs) Okay. Because Viv doesn't close doors behind themselves, and I know that for a fact. You, to your right, is is stairs going up? Shock, I run up the stairs. (laughs) Okay. Hey, stairs, everyone. Uh, I think I should be able to... uh, Oh, look at that. Oh. I got, uh, I'll got. i use my action to dash, Paul, so I'll have double the movement. I assume I can at least get up to where I guess Viv is at this point because I kind of shortcut my way through okay, the window. You, you get up to the second floor. Okay. And there is a hallway with one, two, three doors. One directly ahead of you and two uh-huh. to your left. Any of them open? No. I hear anything up here. Yes, I'm going to say with that with that uh, roll before, you hear some banging around behind the doors to your left. That And that's where I head. Okay, and that, that will say that's your turn. Up here to the left, come other guardsmen for the city. <laughs> ah, yes. The position we absolutely have. And carry with pride. Kaladra. I look behind Butt Trumpet to see if there's any guards. Like, <laughs> Butt Trumpet, you see Reed go, oh no, the guards are coming. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kalandra, it is your turn. You are left alone, laying flat on your face in the middle of the street. <laughs> I helped her up. I helped her up. Oh, okay. Yeah. You did help her he up. He said he helped I, me. I, I, I'm I, not, at least. Okay. So I'm, I'm here to help. Get to know Syria. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, what oh, was that other I'm party sorry. member, Siri? Right. <laughs> oh, Siri, the disembodied voice. An eligible thing. The don't voice of your that. God. <laughs> <laughs> Brothel in 200 little... yards. <laughs> um... Oh, helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um. So, okay, let's see. Because I've got to get in there with everybody. So. Give me a perception check, please. 
Let me in, let me in by the hair of my chinny chin chin. <laughs> or just bodily uh, fling yourself through a window. That works surprisingly well. 17. 17. Okay. 17. So as you come through the door, you see Butt Trumpet and Reed kind of standing around looking like they're going, what the fuck just happened? Um, <laughs> the floor is coated in broken glass and broken bits of wood. To, there is a door directly on the other side of the room, as well as an open door to your left. From your angle, I'm going to say as you go through that door, as you look through that open doorway, you see stairs going up. And from somewhere up there, you ha hear Gaius going, up here! And to the left! <laughs> so you, you could actually dash if you wanted to. Okay, I'm going to dash. Okay, I'm going to dash to here because I also would like to. That way, I hear Gaius, but I can also peeky peeky into the room that's actually open. You see Vivalda in there with with three large men exchanging blows with swords. One no, of which looks incredibly fine. bloody. Go, Vivalda. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Okay, Vivalda, is your turn. One of the other, Sick. one of the guys are continues to go, Ollie, we could really use some help. She's going to continue to attack the person right in front of her. Okay. With the short sword. 22 to hit. Definitely hits. This could be nine piercing damage. He's looking uh, pretty bloodied as well now. You got got your blade directly across his chest, which has torn open some of his leather, mm -hmm. and and he's beginning to bleed pretty uh, pretty profusely. Do I also see Kalandra in the doorway? Give me a perception check with advantage. It's gonna be twenty-two. Okay, because I'm going to say you're facing that direction. And yeah. as you're you're fighting and parrying and trying to avoid blows, all of a sudden you mm -hmm. see this short figure in skin tight leather with spiked yep. heels come in and lean up against the door and go <laughs> and see you there. All right. <laughs> um, when I see her, Gav takes that as all right. They're here. Um, and she's just going to go, how many more are there of you? Calandra, you hear Vivalda go, how many more of there are you? But I'm looking towards these men. I'm okay. looking towards the men. And they look so and only say... The, only the one. <laughs> they go, enough to kill the likes of you. <laughs> I mean, that. <laughs> Look out, when they talk, they have dramatic back, background music. <laughs> so bloody when they're talking smack to me. That's a bad idea. Eldred is going to come over here. He sees Calandra looking in. He hears Gaius up at the top of the stairs somewhere. Kind of looks up and is about to look at, up towards Gaius. Peeks in over top of uh, Calandra and fires three missiles into the backs of the two... To uh, in front of you, Vivalda, and then continues partially up the stairs. Because <laughs> he heard Gaius. Yeah. <laughs> I run up behind Calandra. What are you doing? We gotta go upstairs. Dude, no, but Vivalda's in there. <laughs> in there? Oh. In okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I, can I push past uh, Calandra? Yeah, we'll, we'll say okay. that. You see Ben surrounded flint. by three guys, and she's fighting these three guys with swords. Okay. guys with swords. And I will hopefully backstab this guy, but I will attempt to hit him with the <laughs> deck on the chair. You <laughs> heard Calandra as you came up upon her, on behind her, go, oh shit. With a very comedic <laughs> whistle sound as she took a step to the left. That's right. <laughs> yes. I got 23. 23, that definitely hits. It should be seven points of damage. Vivalda, you uh -huh. see Reed kind of push past Calandra, kind of squeeze around between the, the table and the love seat. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, 
through his the front of this guy's throat comes this dagger point. And as he pulls it out, the guy just collapses on the ground, and all you see standing there is Reed, covered in partial blood, with a big smile on his face, going, Hi! Here, my dagger. And he holds up the dagger. Is that the <laughs> Is that the same guy who literally just told me enough to kill the likes of you? Uh, yeah. As he does. He just, like, shakes her head. (laughs) (laughs) And looks to his friend, like, all right, are we still fighting? (laughs) A butt trumpet, it is your turn. I did follow suit when Gaius led all of us up the stairs. So I would very much like to skedaddle in the room. And could I twin acid slash at these two bozos? Yes, you could. <laughs> They're easy oh, targets with the big shock of red hair and the bright red round noses that they have. All right, they need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Wait, are we killing clowns? The first one has a, <laughs> has a one. Is this 2016? <laughs> and the second one is a it's The one 19. with the red balloons are the worst. Balls. Together. Well, one yeah. of them is yeah. taking acid yeah. damage at least. Okay, do your damage. <laughs> Ooh, 11 points of acid damage, biatch. Vivolda, you see uh, the one in front of you get a smack of this green, fizzy kind of spray in his face, and it just kind of slowly eats away the skin until only the bone is left, and it just kind of then crumples to the ground. That was me being <coughs> nice. So there you are, Gaius. From where I'm standing now, orientation map-wise, I'm hearing noise from north, e- uh, north, east, or west right now. You hear a noise right from in here, and you hear noise over here, and you think you hear noise here. So I hear them having a ruckus downstairs, uh, and they're kind of all dealing... I turn around and see that they're all dealing with that. I open the door to my left. Oh, sorry. I should say open it. I kick the door in to my left. The first one immediately to the left, where I heard two noises come out of it. I kick the door in and I look in. I don't know if I step in. All right, like, you you see someone directly across from you. Okay, so you see two uh, two guys who seem to be ru- tossing the room, who all of a sudden look up and see you in the doorway. Well, I have options. This is good news for you guys. Leave or stay here forever. I'm oh, sorry. I said that wrong. Stay here for the rest of your lives. Okay, are you doing anything else if there's no response? Uh, as I uh, say that, uh, well, the reason why I want to see if there's a response, because the action I'm going to take will either harm or not harm the people around me, which is why I see if they're of the uh, mind to just go away. The one looks over his shoulder and says, Ali, company! And they start coming towards you with their swords drawn. With violence in their eyes and hearts. I got you. So, well then, I guess you're just going to haunt this place with your spirits. Speaking of which, at that point, Gaius reaches in, squeezes wine into his hand as it's dripping and dropping down on the ground, and then splashes it around him. Bacchus, protect me. And cast spirit guardians. Okay. That as from the splashes and puddles on the ground and drops begin to rise off and take the shapes of ethereal cloaked beings of dark purple light and swirl around him in a 15 foot sphere. And obviously, my party and friends and people who have. No me, uh, no desire to hurt me, begin to float around me, and will of course cause anyone in that sphere to have half movement. And whenever they enter, or it is their turn, they will take damage. So everyone in this room is kind of not enjoying themselves. Well then, adventurers, I guess you're to be judged. So fifteen. Fail. Two. Fail. Six. Fail. Okay. All right, so they'll be getting the full force of this. Fifteen radiant damage each. 
They cry out, and one of them goes, Ollie, we need you! Well, this Ollie person sounds kind of intimidating, but, um... Okay, so I take so... a peek behind me in the uh, in the hallway. Is there anything going on there? You don't see anything back there. So up in this room, is there a door to the left-hand side? Is that what I'm seeing? Yes. So I will actually <laughs> see as how outnumbered I am, and realizing my friends haven't come up to help me, I will be like, uh, wait one. And just take a step back out into the hallway. So that is that is my turn. But I do relay down to my friends, hey, I got a bunch of people up here. Calandra, it is your turn, I believe. All right. Uh, and there's still one one more person in here? Yeah. Okay. One more. Bitch-ass. Bitch-ass to deal with. Thank you. Yes. That is... All right. One more bitch -ass. Oh, wait. I got to go many all bitch -asses the way into the room. Those? <laughs> I can't. Gonna cast sacred flame on the dude. To the there face. We go. Okay, so <laughs> to he the needs, face. Yeah, to he the needs face. to make a saving throw. Yeah. Natural twenty. Well, fuck. That's rude. <laughs> that is. <laughs> insulting like i came all this way it was such a schlep and you're gonna disrespect me like this <sighs> so you see calandra step into the room going <sighs> cast a spell that that seems to fail and then she just goes well fuck that was rude and at this point the guy in the doorway sees all of you Turns around, yep. runs back through the door. You hear him going, Ollie! <laughs> no, no, Ollie. Ollie, you, you stay in there, baby. It's better wherever you're at. I have a feeling when we see Ollie, we're going to be like, oh, shit, what's Ollie? <laughs> right. I should only just be like mm. a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Can it be what like an obnoxious dog. house cat that just pees on everything and like knocks cups off of window seals? Like... <laughs> Let's, Reed, it is your turn. That? So dramatic, all right. So Vivalda <laughs> and Calandra both hear from up the stairs, Guy is going, um, so you know, there are people up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to run through the door after this guy. I'm going to run through the door and look for a target to stab. Okay, you keep, come keep into a room that temple. looks like it's a dining room. There's a dining table with chairs around it and set with, with uh, plates and everything. Uh, yeah. Across the room from you is another door that's cracked open. So the guy probably went through there. There's no other door. I throw the door open. <laughs> and we will deal with that next next time you're here. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, the music too. Eldred's turn. Okay, butt trumpet it is your turn. Watching stuff is happening in the other room, right? Yeah, you saw Reed go chasing after the guy who left the room, and everyone else is just kind of standing there looking at each other. We gotta make sure everybody's taken care of, and the Gaius is okay. Do I split up in threes? I can go up to Gaius. And you three stay here. So I'm just like, do you want me to go upstairs? I feel really shitty if I just let Reed be by himself. I get it. Two magic I... users and two, I mean, one damage person. Either place. That's true. I'm following Reed. Okay, so you're going to dash? So yes, you I'm see, definitely. ahead of you, you see Reed stepping through a door. Oh boy. I had at least taken a step out of the doorway okay. and around. So, like, just, guy I saw he was outnumbered and nobody was with him. So, at the top of the stairs, we'll call it that. Just Great. Just make it easy. Okay, so, Vivaldo, you make it to the top of the stairs... You see Gaia's back out of a room and, and turn around to the top of the stairs as you finish your dash. Eldred's oh, at yeah. the top of the stairs with him. Gaius, it's your turn. Oh, And you so see Vivalda run up at the top of the stairs running towards you. Ah, Viv, excellent, great. Uh, perfect. I have uh, exactly 
You're the, exactly the best person for the situation. We are. Perfect. What do you need? A person with a good sword arm. So I step out and around the corner. That way I'm using the sphere to at least block the right. hallway from a bunch of people rushing at me at the same time. Okay. Anything else you would like to do? Now that I see that Viv has joined me. And you have Eldred. Uh, and I have Eldred. I have Eldred. That's all I... So I want to step around the door a frame again to look into the room. I have the guys charged at me. I guess if we want to, like, step it up to the second floor, I don't map-wise, Paul, or not. I step around to look into the door. What are the guys that I just... Okay. ...had experience? Uh, my sphere of not-so-good-for-their-health. Sphere of not-so-good-for-their-health. Because the other thing I could do is I could cha-cha slide them to death either, where I slide to the right, hit them, slide to the left, slide to the right, they get hit with it again, crisscross my way back out again. <laughs> Thank you, you get it, and this is why we ride shields, surfing shields together. <laughs> I was fighting three, and I was trying to keep them alive so I could question them, um, but Reed and Butt Trumpet killed two of them, and one ran yelling Ollie, so. Yes, I have heard of this Ollie fe- Oh, hello! Yes, I have heard of this Ollie fellow. Apparently <laughs> he is uh, some kind of what-for person. Okay. So I, I see the three, at least least right that are in a line in front of us paul and they are within my 15 so as i was saying a 12 yes. a 20 and a 14 okay the 20 is the only one who passes so they'll take half damage okay the other two are going to take full damage roll okay two take 17 damage the other one takes eight damage whoever passed no and he just drops dead huh yep both of them? Yep. Oh, well, oops. Well, don't worry if there's some over there that are still not uh, fully affected by my uh, charms, apparently. That's all right. Oh, but wait, there's, but wait, there's more. As in a bonus action, <laughs> Gaius shoots his one hand out and casts okay, spiritual weapon. So kind of just to the right of that last bubble in the hallway. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to roll... A 20-sider. Odds, this guy's going to fire upon Gaia's evens. He's going to fire on Viv. But what about Eldred? <laughs> he's not in his line of sight. Okay, even, so it's on Viv. A 12. This is not hit. Okay. Between the two of you, an arrow goes flying. Hey! You missed! I only murdered two. I only killed two of you so far. I gave you options. Wait, hold on. I gave them options to surrender. As, like, their corpses are kind of, like, smoking and being picked apart by <laughs> purple spirits on the ground. Okay, and so from down the hall, another two arrows come. One w does a four, and one does a twelve. Nope. Nope. You got the two characters with shields upstairs, so no. <laughs> We're just like, really? Punk. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Oh, shit, we left all the soft people downstairs. But they're small. They'll be fine. Okay, and is that how it works? A four saving I think that throw. Wanted to hit. And a one saving throw. So do damage on these two who just entered your sphere. It'll be thirteen apiece. As all of a sudden, it's almost like flying razor blades are around them, just slowly. Like you just see their clothes being like Dang. plucked off as just new wounds are opened up. Viv, we're going to say it is your turn at this point. And I will attack with my Sick short rock. sword on that first guy. It's going to be 17 to hit. Definitely hits. That is 10 piercing damage on that first dude. For the second guy, 21 to hit. Definitely hits. And 10 piercing damage. Wow. And I will charge right up to this archer. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to do? I believe that's all I can do. Okay. So just gonna stand in front of the archer with my shield and have my short sword ready to go. Eldred? Oh, I've missed working with you, Viv. Eldred puts up his hands and a fan of flame comes out hitting both of these individuals, catching uh, the first one's nice hair on notes. fire a little bit, but Ooh. just kind of goes over the head of the... It's like the big guy in the front blocked the, the littler guy behind him. 
We'll do one more round here. Okay, a 19 and a 20 on you, Gaius. Yes. And a 13 on you from the guy, from the one guy directly in front of you, and a two nope. on you from the other guy directly in front of you. And we're going no. to do their saving throws as well. A six and a 19. One will take full damage, the other will take half damage. So one will take 17, the other one will take eight. They both drop, but I still have to do the damage to you from the arrow. Correct. I'm assuming the two that died were not the ones that actually damaged me. No, the arrows came from down the hallway. So a four plus two and a five plus two. So a six and a seven, 13. 13 points, and do you need to do a concentration check? Yes. Okay. Let me register the damage. All right. The concentration on spiritual, uh, the spirit guardians goes away, sadly. But hey, I think you they've got, done you got their mayhem. Pretty, you got a damn good lot of use out of it, though. Yeah. No, thank, thankfully awesome. you charged them, those ne'er-do-wells, directly into me, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Luckily, a spiritual weapon, though, is not concentration. And right. I love... I love that love that spell because I never get an extra attack like fighters and all those <laughs> others, so I have to sustain myself with spells. Vivalda, guy drops his bow and draws a sword and rolls a four, so I'm going to assume that misses. Gaius, you, then Vivalda, then Eldred, and then we'll move back downstairs. All right, so uh, spiritual weapon is going to. Uh, charge the archer who hurt me uh 26 i definitely hit him and do a whopping six force damage gaius is gonna start running at him produce flame in his hand and then oh you like to throw things and then <laughs> lob a little bit of a fire into his face this let's see if that hits Nope, that kind of oh. zips over his head, and Gaius charges in and closes the distance. Because he shoots things, and <laughs> Gaius will now just punch him to death instead. Or beat him to death with his hammer, one or the other. Vivalda, is your turn. I would like to say to this archer, we don't have to do this. Tell me how many more of you there are, and we can just go to the colonnade. And if he tries to attack me, I'm going to have my action ready to attack him first before he can go to cut me. He looks at you, and as he goes to hit you with the sword, says, I'm not going anywhere. You are. I'm sorry to hear that. And I will hit him. 22 to hit. I think that hits. I hope so. Six piercing. It's like, oh shit, you found Ollie, run! Eldred uh, moves up here so we can see the archer around you, Gaius, and fires three missiles into him. Reed, it is your turn. Oh. And this is what you see as you walk basically through the door. I walked right into that? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think we met Ollie. Ollie smash. Next to uh. He's got a club in one hand and a turkey leg in the other. And the turkey leg doesn't look real fresh. Uh, Gross. This is so much worse. Um, do I know what this is? Is this like some kind of like troll or ogre or something? Uh, you, you've seen big things like this before. Nikita was always hitting on things like this. So it is, it is much larger than a human Oh yes, as you can well tell. Uh, I am going to. I'm going to back up and shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Probably the yes. Best yes. You could have taken. <laughs> sorry, sorry okay, for disturbing you. Let me just. That you're going to do that kind of like a disengage situation. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, butt trumpet, you as you're running across the room see. Reed, run into the door, kind of come to a very sudden stop, take one step out, pull the door shut, and just is there staring at the door, seemingly shivering. 
So I, I just look go. At, I look. At, I look. At, I just look at my job and I go, "Don't go in there." <laughs> uh, laundry room. No, it's probably gonna come through the door. Let's get out of here. <laughs> and so then, what, if I Rita, can, you, I would like. You I would like to usher movement. butt trumpet away from the door. <laughs> okay, do you pick butt trumpet up? Uh, if she'll let me, yeah. Please! I can stand there. Thank you for asking. Uh, and then I'll move back towards that other room. I think it's an I ogre. I really appreciate the passivity. I respect <laughs> it. It's a smart choice. Like, it might have trouble. Have to do this? It might have trouble with doors. <laughs> this whole time and he hasn't come here yet so i think so but trumpet you have been picked up by reed is there anything else you'd like to do as you're going along with him i'll just hang and enjoy the ride calandra you're preparing to do whatever you're going to do whether it's follow the rest of that group or head up the stairs which one were you planning on doing i was gonna stay with reed and butt trumpet Okay, so you start to take a step through there, and very hurriedly, you see Reed come through the door with Butt Trumpet underneath one arm, and Butt Trumpet's going. (laughs) (laughs) And you see Reed push open the door and and is holding this, and the, the hand's still there, come as he runs through. And Reed, you see Calandra standing there. Out, out, out. Let's go. <laughs> what? what? Uh, okay. I'm not going to argue because I'm worried I'll get, like, top five read again, so. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm muttering something about ogre. <laughs> Hopefully it won't fit through doors. <laughs> Ooh, hope it won't fit through doors. So, Calandra, what are you big, doing? Big, 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 um, big, big. big. <laughs> Reed is uh, muttering about big things and and s- telling me to run. So I'm going to uh, GTFO out of this room. If they're running, I too shall be running. Okay, where would you like to um, go? God, she said. I, I guess up upstairs. Reed, you hear behind you and butt trumpet. Only hungry, fresh little meat. And you hear, yep. like, banging on the door. Open! Nope, nope. <laughs> nope. stay! <laughs> and then you start hearing wood splintering. Yep, time to go. Time to go. Hustle! So, where do you go? Where did uh, Eldred go? This he disappeared stairs? a while ago. He went up the stairs. Okay. With the uh, guy in the bit? Yeah. Well, you don't know, you had the discussion with Viv that she was going to go and help Gaius. You never actually saw where she went. But it's safe to assume yeah. she went upstairs. <laughs> so, should we go up there or go out front? <laughs> I say we get the rest of the band back together, personally. We can make Gaius fight the big thing. Okay, <laughs> okay so you're go. going to uh, dash up the stairs? Yes. So, Vivalda, this guy's already committed to stat- trying to stab you. A natural 20. Uh, sorry, that doesn't hit. A 2, so that is not a critical hit. So 10 points of damage. You hear a commotion behind you as you hear a door open. And in comes two individuals and a very large thing that looks to be trying to get through the door. One is going to be able to get a bow shot off with a 12. Uh, misses. And that is, it is now Gaius's turn. Scythe comes in from the side. Swinging into him and 16. That definitely hits. Cleaving a chunk out of him for nine force damage. He's not looking real great. And then I swing in with the Warhammer. Ooh, yeah, eight's not going to make it. So because he flinched from the scythe, my Warhammer comes up and just like raises his face so the scythe comes down and yeah he kind of takes the blow and moves with it as the (laughs) hammer goes right over his head and into the wall right next to him with plaster shattering everywhere oh shit uh sorry whoever owns this so that was action bonus action and i'm not moving because i did not hear anything suspicious from viv's room like i call for help 
or oh crap, there's more people here. Okay, at at the uh, oh dear God, help, help, help. <laughs> at the end you of your turn, turn, you do hear what sounds like the loud cracking of wood. Eldred does the burning hands, which once again seems to go high and gets really close to your face as as he's going for it. Oh, 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 starting to get a suntan, man. Watch out. Oh, sorry. Tough to do in between you and that, uh, you know, Grim Reaper thing. Yeah, you, can just, yeah. Well, you know, it's, I'm kind of in a, I'm not feeling happy today. Okay. Yeah, you seemed a little out of it last night, too. Yeah, this is the thing. So, seeing as I'm very outnumbered, and I have gravely miscalculated how many people were in this building, apparently, she is yeah, you did. going to disengage this archer okay. and run back out to Gaius and Eldred. You see them to your left, all the way down at the other end of the hall. And to your right, coming up the stairs, you see the rest of your group. And you see Reed holding butt trumpet like a football, running up the stairs looking real panicky. <laughs> um, okay. That's a good hi, sign. Hi, everyone. B really big th thing. Um, I thought these were thieves. They're not. They are not. And she's just going to get ready to be attacked, I guess. I actually think they might be thieves. They There's seem to be a lot of them. The place. Well, I mean, and they are I was just fighting letting you us know to the you death. Weren't, you weren't wrong. I think they are still stealing things. I so think they are class classified as thieves. Still thieves, but they are fighting us to the death. So these are not just your average thief, apparently. Well, we had homicidal and almost suicidal halflings. This is a nice change of pace, fighting people Guys, by height. There's a big thing in there. <laughs> Vivalda, one of the things you did notice is they all seem to have it, almost like um, pillow cases with them, like filled with stuff and big mm -hmm. sacks. Okay. So, I think she just wants to get with her party, so she's ready, um, and also just kind of <laughs> look at guys like help me. <laughs> essentially, how Keep your hurt does how hurt does the other? side of the party look because i can see gaius looks like he's pretty good unless he isn't updating his health bar oh gaius. sorry i have like i have an arrow in my shoulder but that's about it eldred doesn't look like he's taken any damage and what about reed kalandra and butt trumpet who just came up the stairs uh they're like halfway up the stairs and it's a little tough to tell it doesn't look like they've taken too much damage if any i think seeing that she she would say this to everyone, kind of out loud. Um, uh, okay, hold on. I will. Out. I will bring everyone else in, okay. so we don't have to repeat this. Come on, come on. All right, I think. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, Texas is shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Can I say? Oh quit God. magic. Quit anyway. eating my barbacoa, there, uh, Calandra. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> So, <laughs> Reed and Butt Trumpet make it to the top of the stairs with, with Calandra trotting halfway up behind them, and you hear C Vivalda say, I'm pretty bloodied, but if you guys can keep fighting, there's a lot of people in there, we're outnumbered. Oh, oh there's like an ogre there. dancer. <laughs> there's, there's like an ogre in there. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. yeah. At which point, yeah. Gaius is down the hallway. Oh, good! As he's punching one, ar like an archer in the face. Fantastic! Okay, Vivaldo, is there anything else you would like to do? Um, I don't think I can do anything else. I disengaged, I came here, I talked. Okay. I think that's everything I can do. Reed, someone comes yes. running out of the door, like... Is seems very surprised to see you and swings an axe in your general direction for a nine. How? From within the room come two arrows at you, Reed. One does a 16 and one rolls a 20. Natural 20. Uh, yeah, that's two hits. Okay, the natural 20 is not a critical critical. 
So the first is seven points of damage, and the second, the critical hit, is five points of damage. <laughs> it was a shot. Okay. What the hell? So, <laughs> That's not how that works. Um, I am going to use Uncanny Dodge to have the one. So, so, so that, that would be three it. instead of seven. So three and five. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> I'm like, am I still holding butt trumpet? <laughs> Yes, at the moment you were. You can drop yeah. me if you need to. I'm just like, I'm like, grab I'm going to like grab your shin, down. like, Ooh. yeah, it's an arrow sticking out of my shin. Took an arrow to the knee. Okay, uh, Gaius. <laughs> yes. The guy in front of you takes the sword and dives between you and Eldred to take a swipe and kind of reverse position he misses you because he rolls an 11 but he ends Correct. up here which i'm not sure ah. is any better because now he's got all three of you like within range ah yes pinch the maneuver and then we go it is reed's turn way to go ding dong i am going to attack this guy right in front of me 18 18 definitely hits now, is he considered in melee with my friends, or no? He's in melee with you, but I'm going to say because Calandra and Butt Trumpet are within five feet of him, you have advantage. Twelve points of damage. Step and step. Anything else you would like to do? So dramatic. <laughs> so, <laughs> scary. Is Calandra still hurt? Calandra, like, are you when hurt? I, like, when I was like, flew into you in the street. Oh, uh... I guess I would be. If I can, I'm going to try to make sure he attacks me and not her type deal. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to do, Reed? Nope. Vivalda, is your turn. How'd this guy get over here? Oh, he chased me. Okay, got it. I was like, what? <laughs> Actually, uh, this is the okay. guy who was from in front of Gaius who took a diving slice at him to try to get away from him. Oh, jeez. All right, All right. I'll slice him. That is going to be 14 to hit. That hits, just barely. Cool. Seven piercing damage. You stab him in the back as he's trying to get away, and he just kind of and falls. All right, so do we go? Are we staying? We should go. Well, I think we have a <laughs> feeling we might need to fight our way out. Sneaking suspicion. I kind of hear All some right. big footsteps. But I took an arrow to my knee. Ugh. It was <laughs> more of your shin. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I can run. I'm going to go over there and help clear away through. Guys, could you please do one of your magic things and, and give me a little bit more health? Oh, yes. Well, it's my turn. I shall most certainly do so. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> She's going to run over here to help fight this guy. And that's my turn. Gaius, it is your turn. Excellent. All right. Um, Suspense. <laughs> so, just to the south of uh, Viv, uh, just throw the spiritual hammer over there, Paul. Kind of like at the entrance to the stairs? No, you could just go to the, the between Reed and Viv. I, it doesn't have enough movement for that. So right there, and it'll take a swing at the Shin guy. Actually, the one that shot me the Shin was in the other room. Yeah, whatever. I don't. I'm not. Pay, I'm not paying it that much attention. All right, so dirty twenty, um, and that'll do nine force damage to him. Okay. So Scythe comes out of nowhere and just wedges right into his shin, okay. like real bad, <laughs> and then pull out. Again. Just like it, the tip, just kind of like kick. And then out again. <laughs> Just the tip. <laughs> Just the tip. And guess Calandra, what? Calandra, stop bad. it. <laughs> and then I didn't guys, say it. This is all your influence, and you know it. And this, is, and then Gaius moves up, <laughs> and will cast cure wounds on Viv. Thank you. Well, go. Uh, let's see. Do this one. Beautiful. Sixteen health. Sixteen. Thank you. That was bonus action. Move and action. I am done. Eldred moves over here. 
with, a, with an intro like that, Eldred's got to do something action here. <laughs> well, he fires <laughs> three <laughs> missiles that just kind of all swirl around everybody and hit this guy for next to nothing. Smacks, smacks his head on the candelabra because he's yeah. tall. <laughs> but, just, oh, can't, believe put that there. I can't believe I asked this guy to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> At which point, Wait, the entire party just head whips and Kalandra's do yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That was like what? yesterday. We were all there. Yeah. I don't remember being there. Was I there? What? I mean, it? Ray I was, was this like morning, actually. Out of it, but yeah. Oh, I don't remember this. <laughs> uh, because Eldred looks so good right now. It was for taxi. Right. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. What I trumpet it is your turn? Sweet, sweet benefits. Is it where, did, where did the missiles hit the Eldred guy? Eldred went. They hit the he guy did. in front of you, Reed. I'm actually yeah, curious. Where did they hit him? Does Eldred was it in the uh, shin? In the shoulder. If you want one, shin. one of them could have hit him in the shin, and he could be hopping up and down a little bit now. Yeah, right, right where We're the really, sight hit. We're really going. Question. Here. My question we is: have a question? Is Eldred still disguising his face to hide his aging? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Amazing so cheekbones, sure. and it's almost like he he. The, the sheen of his skin has a little bit of a glow and rosy cheeks. And he just needs to fail on one cost. Wherever he walks, you notice a little sparkle in his eye and his smile. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. Anytime like, blood huh? splatters off of somebody and it hits his face, it magically just disappears. It just all of a sudden turns to sparkles. No, better yet, oh when, he, when, he, when he gets attacked and loses constitution saving throw and the spell concentration breaks. But I really love that we're ganging up on this guy, so <laughs> I'd like to attempt to cast Bolt on him. Okay, go ahead. I want to cast Punch in Face. <laughs> this poor guy. He didn't know what he was running into. There's more in the shin. Here we go. 14? That just hits. Nine points of fire damage. Gonna look like a Pepsi commercial. You see his hair go up in flames like Michael Jackson, and he just crumples to the ground. Woo! <coughs> Damn! <It's scary. laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to do, Butt Trumpet? I am satisfied until we encounter worse. Okay. Uh, Calandra, is there anything you'd like to do? <laughs> Their bloodlust has been satisfied. Um, <laughs> never cross butt trumpet and also start leaving. Okay, so you're headed I... back down the stairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretend yeah. like so that anyone following you. I just really love the idea of just gradually like inching down the stairs. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like, you know, respectfully, like, I love, I love butt trumpet, so I'm just like, yay, butt trumpet, now let me back away, so I don't ever cross you, ever stomp okay. in the face and spit on. If you're hurt, don't forget to heal yourself. <laughs> Everyone give me a perception check, please. Uh, okay. I'm so bad at these tonight. 20? Perception. This is the only thing I can roll tonight. Can't I just can't perceive. I did it again tonight. I did it again. Thank you, Britney Spears. I did it again. I don't know if anyone was aware of it. There's a confetti and loud noises, but I did it again. No, there's no oops about it. Someone put a Catholic school uniform on Gaius. He did it again. Oh! Bavolda, Gaius... Yeah. Down girl. <laughs> and uh, Calandra, I believe, uh, yeah, I, yeah. all of you hear, no tiny, stop, as you see this massive thing start to s try to come through the door, but this tiny light goes past his head, and right here, all of a sudden, grows and explodes. No. Oh. Everyone give me a okay. dexterity saving throw, please. <laughs> oh, no. Sure. Why not? No. 18. Oh, right. Come on. This is what I'm good at. <laughs> oh, I got a 10. <laughs> oh, oh, I got a 10. No. no. Oh gosh. 
This isn't good for us, guys. Okay, nope, this is bad news. Guys, what was yours? Two dexterous characters got tens. Fifteen. Gaius, butt trumpet, the dodge, the Volga, the dodge cleric, apparently. Make the saving throw and take half damage. I have a question. Did we just get fireballed? We got <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Hey, they can't do that. <laughs> you said I yes. take half damage. Does Reed take half damage? Reed does not. People who take full damage take twenty-six points. People who oh. take half damage take 13 points. Oh, what? Okay. Night, night. Cool. The large thing coming through the door gets blown back. You hear the scream of two other people within the room. And the walls, the walls seem to start like. Thing the wallpaper on the walls is like smoldering and just got, it's not catching fire, it's just like part of it's like burning away on the walls. Oh, that's not good. What kind of asshole wizard does that in a confined space? I didn't ask how big what the room was. I said I guess part of all. You hear Tiny protect me. Tiny, he just did hurt Calandra, you. Did Calandra get away? Calandra was it? still in the blast range. Oh, oh no. Yeah. The question is, did Calandra heal herself on her turn before that, the spell went that, off? That, that was no? more than my max. That was more than... It doesn't matter because that was more than my max HP. Oh, Instead no. of dust, she turns into that actually right party penis confetti. <laughs> yes! <laughs> dick, oh my god! Dick, dick confetti everywhere. <laughs> Reed, you see Calandra laying at the bottom of the stairs surrounded by confetti. Multicolored confetti. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. And you downstairs you hear open door and the cracking of wood. Oh no. Oh no. Is it my turn? Is that what you're telling me? As a matter of fact, it is. We're, we're going, right? <laughs> I start to run down the stairs and try to get Calander. I don't think that's a safe assumption. I mean, the place <laughs> is about to burn down now. Yeah. Well, you're not seeing anything like... You're seeing a lot of smoldering. You're not seeing anything like catching into flames yet at this point. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. as guy is probably going to produce flame in his hand and just start setting shit on fire. I think it's time to leave. <laughs> this so is a I bad idea we've had. And try to get Calandra. Hopefully, I'm strong enough to carry her. I don't know. Okay, so you go I think down. It was smaller, right? So, yeah. <laughs> you go down to the bottom of the steps. Yeah, where I go to Calandra. So you go down there with your dash and whatever, and you can pick her up. And uh, okay. if you want, you can probably get out the front door. I'll do that. Then. The whole time I'm going, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> okay, Vivalda, it is your turn. <laughs> Um, Calandra. she is going to see, yeah, that Kalandra. Did Reed just pick up Kalandra? He lifted her up and, and went out of view. Viv will look at Butt Trumpet and just kind of like, you want up? You want out? Up and out. And Viv will grab Butt Trumpet and run right out of there. And with a dash, I'm going to say that'll be no problem. Gaius, it is your turn. Excellent. I just to get All right. So, uh, let's see. Looking in through that door, Paul. What do I see? Tiny. You, see, you see Tiny, who uh, you recognize as an ogre from previous things, laying gotcha. on its back like spread eagle, just kind spread of. Spread eagle. Gotcha. Kind of going, oh, 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 no fire. And next to him, you <laughs> see what looks like a kid in robes teenager i point at him i'm like did you just fireball us i'll do it again <laughs> don't hit him that is a that's a tiny dick move. tiny <laughs> get up that tiny. Is a so uh, i'm gonna have spiritual <laughs> weapon float in in front of me <laughs> okay and uh, then it, s save that action in case they charge it well, guess what, friend? Now you have to suffer the consequences of your actions. And using my, uh, huh, I didn't expect 
uh, this particular cantrip to work out this way. Control flames. I can begin to expand the flames from his fireball he cast that the wallpaper was just smoldering. Gaius just puts his hand on the wall. Be careful what you do, because sometimes bad things happen. As the flames all start to grow around the doorway and the entrance... <laughs> Next time, be careful who you play with. From behind you, you fire. hear, you hear Eldred going, uh, "Gaius, yes, um, <laughs> it's going to be okay. You, you could, you could call. It's going to be okay. Why, why don't we just get out of here?" Uh, at which point, he turns his head. He's like, "Run, Eldred, run." <laughs> he's don't worry. Lost it, and he. I've got Eldred this. Eldred takes off. Oh, and by the way. If you come toward the weird glowing scythe thing, you're going to die. Toodaloo. And then Guy just casually walks down the stairs. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, everyone but Gaius, you are out in oh. the street. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So, and then Gaius lights the no, door no, well on fire. Not yet, <laughs> Gaius. You're not there oh, yet. Okay. 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 <laughs> Eldred eventually comes out and says, uh, guys has lost it, everyone. He, he's freaking lost it. No, 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 no. He's gotta, he's gotta, he's gotta fix this. And I'm holding Calandra. He's gotta fix this. <laughs> I'm sure he's he he fixing it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get separated from guys at some point and now there's evil versions here? <laughs> hmm. No, I think he's just at the limit. He's taking he's all the BS he can. Had him with these snakes on the plane? <laughs> these motherfucking ogres in this motherfucking house. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing them fireballs. Same. Stay with this conjure. Please, serious, let me handle this. Put yourself together, get a hold of each other. She just kind of opens one eye and she goes, Harder. <laughs> oh, no. In final words. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> Put your hand We lost. We lost it. <laughs> Guys, give me a perception check, please. Uh, 25, Paul. As you uh, come down the stairs, <laughs> just as you're about three quarters of the way through, bashing through that door comes another ogre, looking around, turns around, and sees you. Bashing through the door. With a one-handed spike cup. Oh. And goes, food, Ollie hungry. All right. This is, what, this is, this is a actual vi visualization of Reed's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it has been personified. Take it out of life of its own. No, Ollie, I know he's a whole meal, but he's got to save me. All right. Uh... <laughs> Before Gaius. you do anything, I nearly forgot. <laughs> Calandra, if you would please give me a death save, please. Of oh, no. course. Ah. Do any of us have healing stuff? No. No. Calandra Just... does. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's the other healer who's awesome. taking death save. This is great. No. 18. Yeah. That's one oh. positive. Way to go. <sighs> okay, guys, what are you doing? I need Ollie. Uh, guys continues to slowly approach Ollie. And I need Ollie to make a wisdom saving throw. Paul. Oh, Jesus. Um, 15. <laughs> and that's fail. with the minuses. Yeah, Woo. fail. Okay. Yeah. Gaius, Damn. as he just approaches and doesn't even make eye contact with him, casts command and says, grovel. At which point, Ollie falls prone to the ground and doesn't get a turn as he walks out the door. 
<laughs> nice <laughs> meal. Nice meat. As guys Ollie walks out the door, likes the meat. Same. As guys walks out the door, sees Calandra cast as a bonus action healing word and brings her back from death. And then kind of just, well, we tried to help this, this house. I don't think it went well. Uh, I think guys, we need to go to the docks. Everyone give me a perception check, please. I think there's an ogre right inside the door. <laughs> yeah, he's fine for a little bit. <laughs> uh -oh. oh no! Uh, somebody, somebody didn't observe something. I don't know what that was. Calandra's a little busy trying to become conscious. Oh yeah, hold on. Uh, let me give you, let me give you your healing there, Calandra. Hold on, let's make make, make that happen real quick. Calandra's yeah, getting a Calandra colonic. Um. Oh. <laughs> it's weirdly. Alliterating, but what kind of uh, healing, yeah. you, guys. What kind of healing are you doing? <laughs> Is this payback for how I got you sober? Like, I'm sorry. Eleven. Yay. Okay, so Vivalda and Gaius. Yes. Uh, mm. Vivalda, you hear inside the building. Ollie likes the meat. Ollie do what the meat say. You also notice some some smoke over top of the building. But what catches your attention, the two of you most of all, is across the street, in two windows, in two separate buildings, and on one of the roofs, you see some people kind of at the windows and on the roof just kind of looking at the house, looking down at you, looking up, and like their mouths are open and just in, in kind of disbelief. Uh, quick, call the guard. Thieves are in there trying to steal stuff. They have ogres. And the ones in the windows just kind of step back slowly. <laughs> like huge creatures that will definitely kill people. Quick. <laughs> At which point, once he sees, like, people starting to back away, guards. Where are the guards? All right, they're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are you guys it's doing? It's weird. If I would have just said fire, I think more people would have showed up. Kind of like... Oh, we should we should go to the docks, right? I need to get <laughs> Calandra somewhere where they're not leaking most of their life fluids out through <laughs> at least second-degree burns. And I counted two ogres? You look at... You look at Reed and he has, like, no eyebrows and he's just, like, singed. He's just like, what? <laughs> I'm hideous. <laughs> No, you're just hairless. Like a chinchilla. Yeah, that's, that's, that's way worse than my normal Oh no, is. how ugly did it make me? <laughs> oh yeah. Paul <laughs> does like blood. Paul does like blowing the hair off everyone. <laughs> I think Viv's hair what? is honestly like this, maybe at the same length as hey, mine currently. What? Maybe not this Yeah, place. I was going to say, Viv, you kind of got kind of like a, a good singe look going on there. Oh god, not again. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's still oh, mostly there. Still longest hair. You now have longest hair in the party. Calandra, because you were oh. running, going down the stairs, you kind of Only have a... Just uh, a bald patch The, the, the cake back. plus eight kind of cut at the moment because the back of your hair just went... <laughs> oh, did the, did the pleather... Did the, did the pleather hood protect or did it just kind of like melt on there? Well, I realized, oh, didn't no. you get her new armor so she wouldn't have oh, yeah. the gimp outfit That's anymore? right. She does, yeah. Just, so uh, the practical armor, which which I made sure, like a cloak with a hood and everything, would have protected their hair. Mm, we didn't mention a cloak. You mentioned armor. Oh, the armor was hood hooded. It was a hoodie. No, no. That, that shop's closed uh, because of the, I... the, the, the sickness. <laughs> the hooded armors? The hooded armor. Hooded armor as yeah. us. Ours us. Well, <laughs> the hoodie the, the hoodie footy store. <laughs> no. It does armor with hoods as well as footy pajamas. Go oh, Andre. I look at you and I'm like, it, it it's okay. El Eldred can give you hair, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> Guy Gaius is like in his head he's like, No he can't because he's too busy fixing his face the entire time. <laughs> he can only do that one. Of, he can only he can only keep that going once at a time. Eldred looks no at more messing says, with people's hair. Thanks. I didn't say it out loud. This is oh, what guys oh, okay. was thinking. Okay, I prefaced oh. that ahead of time. Okay, I missed that part. 
Okay, so what what is everyone doing while Calandra is kind of on her knees going, smell something burning? Yes, you. Oh, no, Uh, she's already sad. You're hot. She's sad. You're you're smoking hot as guys kind of just scoops her up. We need to go toward the docks. I think that's a good idea, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody roll me a 20 cider, please. Oh, I'm, like, I'm like limping along with an arrow sticking out of my shin and I'm all burned. And shit. All right. Caius oh. has got like one arrow lodged in the start. Why was that doubled? Anyone else want to roll a 20 cider instead? No, but apparently we're going to get jumped by the city guard now due to that. Are you taking any particular route to the docks? Uh, you have a little I bit get... of a general feeling about parts of the docks, you know certain landmarks, uh, and Gaius, you especially have some experience with uh, the warehouse district right before the docks? Yeah. I think uh, at some point, uh, like, Gaius knows kind of where, because he, we want to get to the rubber duck, also there's the, um, what was it, the, what's the lemon one? Uh, oh, the hairy lemon? Well, that's, I think that's the... Which, Kalandra, oh, yeah. you know the hairy lemon because it's like a block <laughs> over from uh, the Red Lantern District. Yes. So... Well, go, go, the hairy lemon. Yeah. So, uh, like, guys knowing the general location of, like, kind of both of those with Kalandra giving him a little bit of assistance, I assume he's kind of, like, just shooting for between them. Kind of, okay. like, keeping generally close How to close those two locations. In- in comparison to the Dirty Mermaid, how close is it? Oh, the Dirty Mermaid is all the way down. Way like down, yeah. The western okay. parts of the docks. Okay, good to know. So, so the one thing I would like to do, Paul, once we break contact from that, and we're kind of like in a, not safe spot, but like a, a moment where we could take a minute, Gaius would like to cast the spell to heal up some party members. Okay, that's fine. Before you do that, I would like you to give me a survival roll, please. Okie dokie, survival. Go, go. Another nat 20? Perfect. Okay, that's awesome. And I retire tonight, never to be seen again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, stopping somewhere convenient um, you can you can find he, a nice section of either alley, a little cul de sac, nice alley, or a building that looks like it's been vacant and maybe it's been ransacked and no one's noticed or done anything about. Which you, there are a number of these around. Gotcha. So uh, I'm casting Aura Vitality. Okay. So for the next minute, so ten rounds. So I get basically ten casts of this. No problem. Go ahead. For everybody who's messed up, uh, I will start with Calandra because they were nearest death. 15 more hit, uh, hit points. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. What are you looking like? I'm good. I'm full. Yep. Topped off? Excellent. Yep. Uh, uh, who's next messed up? So, you know, Calandra, uh, your hair is still missing in the back and is all like scorched. But you're you're healthier. Oh, and the roots Karen are coming like... in. <laughs> I think Reed was the next. Oh, the roots are coming in a different color for some reason. Did you dye your hair? I'm just gonna um Uh-huh. Eldred says okay. that's not very gentlemanly there, guys. <laughs> gonna... oh, did I ever it's claim to be that? Uh, uh no, this will be there. for Vivalda, uh, ten more hit points. What are you sitting at Thank now? You. Where am I sitting at? Are you asking me as Viv? Or... <laughs> Are you, uh, yeah, either or. Do you feel at full health? Or could you give me a number I'm... scale from, you know, one to, say, whatever you're 30, whatever you're sitting at? I mean, like, 75%. 70. Ah, that's a good, oh, uh, yeah. So yeah. this will be the third okay. one uh, going to Viv, which will probably top them off. Another 12 I'm sure they're fine. Uh, Reed, you are hurt, sir. I go, yeah. I believe I saw you. Pulls out of my mouth. <laughs> take them to the shin. Um, shin turn. So, ten more hit points, and you're still looking a little ragged, right? Pretty, yeah, very. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you another one. 
15 more hit points. What are you at now, my friend? Uh, it feels much better. Uh, I'm at about 75%. Now. Okay. And yeah, you know what? Yeah, you get another one. Ah. Thank you. And 10 more. So that should. Uh, Butch Rumpet, how are you feeling? I uh, look like Freddy Blueger right now, but. Uh, Don't Blueger? know who that gentleman is. Are you. I'm not doing good, and I can use some hit. There's one go through, 12 hit points. That That is perfect. I'd only be like one smidgen away from being okay. next. If I have extra left over, I will top you off. Eldred, you are surprisingly healthy and glowing still, I think. <laughs> uh, well, you is, notice is he, he, is, he's is got he some singe off? marks here and there. Okay. Uh, I'll throw him a heel his way. Are they for a 15? stylish fashion? He's good. He's good. <laughs> okay. And then I will take one hit off of it myself. For eleven, and then let's see what am I sitting at? Uh, one more I have left, and I will use it on myself, and that'll get me close to topped off as well. And fifteen. All right, everybody's looking well, uh, yeah, vivacious well, now. While guys is doing while guys is doing all that, I I say to like Viv, I'm like, so what did we walk into the back there? What was that? Robbery? I, I I severely miscalculated the threat that was going to be in there, and I thought it was just going to be a few thieves. I had no idea that there would be magic wielders and, and giant ogres or anything. I saw a I kid from, I think, the university there. Not that I know him personally, but he's of the age and obviously the magical inclination whipping around fireball was he wearing Eldritch I'm sorry Eagle if I had known that the threat was going to be so high I would have just said we should alert guards I wouldn't have told us to go in there no. I mean there. it was hey listen we got out of there nobody was seriously killed only minor death <laughs> which was immediately <laughs> rectified only those are dead um, which is slightly alive it was just We've had that happen more often than I like to think, but the good news is we're all at full health and most of us are mostly intact. Some of Gaius. us right. will need a cloak and hood. Yes, Paul. A beanie, perhaps? <laughs> no. A knit cap. Hey, Reed, do you have extra headgear? Uh, did they get blown up in the firewall? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you probably have like an extra bandana in your pocket or... Oh, I do. Oh, I have God. a few bananas, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, well, sorry. That's okay. Um, what I was going to say now was... follows the, the god of prudes. <laughs> um, the of prudity. <laughs> Gaius, you, when you were in there, because you were downstairs, you saw some of the rooms, you were upstairs, you saw some of the rooms, and Vivaldo, I'm going to say you as well noticed this, because the perception okay. check that the two of you did very well on, I'm going to include this on. The house was weird. It, it wasn't just a normal house. There was furniture, and it looked like it was set up to be a normal house. But to put it in terms that Chris and Brianna can understand, it almost felt like a the model house at a uh, at a development. You know, the ones that mm. just are set up to look like you could live there, but there's actually nothing there. Or, a display home, uh, like a displayed IKEA almost. Worst open house ever. <laughs> Was this some sort of <laughs> test for the university? I don't you think? No, not at all. I mean, they had, there were people rummaging around. There were body guard ogres. I'm almost wondering if that was a front for something else. And if they're using university students, which we've seen the city use to scope out the area. I wonder if that might have been a safe house 
for the people that are potentially rebelling against the city now. Because you know, if the person Eldred in charge was that a teenager, Eldred tells you that the university has has shut down since all this happened, and the students yes. had nowhere to go. Yes, so they could have been hired willy nilly. I mean, this was a young kid in charge. Do you think I, that the child and the that, elders lived there? And there were thieves no. in the house. It seems that they were working together, the thieves and the ogres. Yes. And... Well, um, if I heard right, like some of those guys were calling for Ollie and Tiny, I think. And the ogres. Those yes. were the two ogres. So the thieves were, wor if anything, maybe. It was, like it was weird, it was like a display home, which is why I wouldn't think that, like, they were just there to steal from a normal person. Like, that could have been a front right. for something else. I'm just making supposition on what it is, but I, it's something that we might want to look into, at the very least. If there, because there was nobody there, there was no signs of sickness or illness. And usually the guards are the ones breaking in and taking people out. We suspect we know what's going on there. This is something mm -hmm. different. This was so. Uh, I guess Paul, in our combat and fighting these people, was well, there a uniformity of dress? Did they have anything no. that were? Did they look like thieves? They looked like thieves, actually. The okay. The thief. The with the exception of the spellcaster and the ogres. Yeah. They look like thieves. They look like bandits. So I wonder They look if... like bandits, more like things, people, highwaymen you've seen on the road, more so mm. than thieves, we'll say. It, it, it so didn't just necessarily this, look yeah. like, a, like a guild operation. It looked okay, like bandits. Okay, so more basically. people, yeah, people that might be down on their luck taking advantage of situations. Okay, so maybe the other theory, throw it out here real quick, is... Um, Got a bunch of people down their luck doing a thing where they know nobody's there so they can rob it for money. Uh, the kid, I'm guessing if the university's closed down, like Eldred was saying, maybe he was just looking for some quick, easy cash as well. And we've seen ogres in, ta in town and around. They're hired out of his muscle, so maybe they just, maybe someone got them together to steal from there. I don't know. If we meddled with something, was something off. that's from the university, if this was something that thing. was... Like Eldred said, all the students are kind of off to their own devices right now at the moment. I, this didn't feel like a sanctioned not, thing. Not all of them. Not all of them. Remember, some of them had were like, search when we went on our little heist. Remember, they were like searching around with those rods. Well, somebody was hired, by, but once again... But they were followed by uniformed soldier types. These were just... Yeah. They weren't guild thieves. We've ran into plenty of those guys. Uh, and uh, the halfling variety, most of all. So uh, there was no uniform activity. Well, if, it was a, if it was a thieves guild, I mean, they wouldn't be dressed in the same. So. I, and I don't think they'd bring ogres along. Well, if they were right? setting up like their... If they were setting up their new base, you know, headquarters or something. Yeah, they they might be me, like the. We walked the in. Guards. That wasn't giving me the vibe of establishing a new place. And the, mm. the door little, was a job. Yeah, the this, front door had been see, smashed in. Oh, this, so they this were gave they the, were searching the house. Mm. Yeah, this gave me a vibe of something going in looking for a thing, and then extracting. And Vivalda, or if someone. you remember when you went in. Mm -hmm. You heard, I'm not finding anything in here. Go check the other rooms. Maybe the bedrooms have something. I think, now that I think back on it, um, I do remember them saying they're not finding a certain mm. thing, perhaps. They said, I'm not finding anything in here. So maybe what? they're looking for a certain thing or, or a few different things. Or we're, we're putting too much uh, onus and too much superstition on this and worrying that... Maybe these people were going in to break in to steal from a place and then stumbled upon something. Yeah, like I said, it didn't have the vibe of some place that was lived in. So maybe right. they went in unbeknownst to them that it was somewhere different. And 
by what you said of what they what they were saying was there's no valuables to take there was nothing of interest so maybe they had sacks that, Wait, were the sacks full paul uh no they they look like they look like they had some stuff in it but it looked like it might have been dishes off a table or okay. like a candlestick here or there but it mm. You know, like Reed would know from robbing a house, those things would usually be full with stuff. Because there's right. not only there's not only stuff like candlesticks and dishes and things like that or silver, but there's also personal items that are worth valuables. Mm -hmm. And you just got the feeling there were a few clunky pieces in a couple of the sacks and that was really about it. And they didn't make out with much items either. I personally don't think that they like knew of that place before. I think they stumbled on it. It might have just seemed That's like a, uh, a place of opportunity. That sounds right, Bob Patrol. Yeah. That feels right. I mean, right. we can always, on our way back from the docks, kind of just maybe take a side street close by to see what's what, or to see if the warehouse district is burning down. <clears throat> Hopefully not. I'm surprised. You're, no you haven't gotten to the me. warehouse district yet. Oh, sorry. Uh, whatever. What, what district was that then, Paul? This was a, a handful of blocks away from the market area. Oh, we'll see if the market area has been uh, burning down later. Hey, but you know, Burn. change is good. So this was, you figure it was a district in between the market and the warehouse area. Closer no. towards the market than the warehouse district. Gotcha. Okay. I, just, I thought we had made it to the warehouse district, but that's fine. All right. No, because you wanted to pull difference. over and heal people. Gotcha, which we did in the warehouse district. So we did that on our way to a rubber duck. Okay. I guess. So you go through the warehouse district, and you're going down the alley that kind of connects the warehouse district to the docks. And mm. it's the alley that you normally took to go to the alley of Red Lanterns that where Calandra's temple is. And at the entrance, as you're coming up on it, you notice there seems to be a lot of, there's a crowd and a commotion at the entrance to the alley of Red Lanterns, Calandra. What the fuck? What? And uh, you know what? Everyone give me another perception check and because of this, you can take it with advantage. I'll tell you what, somebody do a group one. And Gaius, I'm just going to assume, makes it because of his passive. But somebody you else give me a group one with advantage. I have pretty good perception if you guys would like me to. Yep. With advantage. I've been rolling like two, this? so please do. 22. 22. That's what it's, I'm going to three things. Per perception, <laughs> medicine, and survival. Okay. So... You drink and you do things. <laughs> I drink and I heal things. You... All of you, as you're approaching, smell some strange smells. Uh, it smells like... Uh, Anchovies. No, it smells <laughs> no. like... A, kind of like a trash fire mixed in with kind of a... Almost like burning chemicals a little bit, to, to say yeah. for the players more so uh -oh. than the, than the, the characters. Yeah. Um, is the sewer overflowing? Ugh. And you, you Sounds see... Sounds like the sewer's a, on fire. There's kind of a crowd at the entrance, kind of a lot of people kind of looking, trying to look down the alleyway. Can the I, alleyway uh, we're in? No, the, you're coming down the alleyway to this crowd that okay. is at the end. They, you wouldn't know this, Vivalda, but everyone else would. Okay. It's the entrance to the alley of Red Lanterns. Can I get a better vantage point over the crowd and see what they're looking at? And how would the halfling do that? I can climb a wall. Okay. <laughs> he, ha he is a thief. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Someone else... I gotta make a check. Someone want, else want to give me a perception check as well as you get closer? I would like sure. to. Sure. Okay, Vivalda oh. and Gaius, please. Or one of you can do it okay. with advantage. Oh, he's already going. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. 15 or... I did it again, Paul. Okay, Brittany. I, d um, I don't. <laughs> Thank I'm, you, Brittany. I'm, ter I'm terrified of the next time I play. I won't lie. Because <laughs> <laughs> my character might just die from the karma swing. 
Okay, so <laughs> Vivolda and Gaius, as you're approaching, you hear a lot of chatter. Uh, you also see a, about three guards trying to keep everyone back. There's actually uh, barricades such as, like a barricade you would see at a parade sort of thing. Not the barricade mm. you saw at the entrance to the Eastern Districts. This is just crowd control. And you see guards on the other side of it. You hear a number of people. So you you know what happened? Yeah, it was the strangest thing. It happened last night, the middle of the night. Just totally out of nowhere. Was it? Mm. Was there a storm? I, I didn't think so. And Reed, you climb up the wall and can look over and down the alleyway. Reed, you see down the alleyway roughly where the temple was. You see mm -hmm. three buildings on the side of the alley where the temple was just rubble and smoking. Like three buildings oh. in a row, and you have a feeling one of them was the temple, you're pretty sure. But they are all just rubble, and there is like steam and smoke rising up from them. I quickly climb down, and uh, I kind of, I, I kind of like pull guys close so he can hear me. You're the only one who can hear me. And I, uh huh. Yeah, sure. And I kind of look over at Kalander, and I'm kind of like, I kind of walk over to Kalander after that, and I kind of give you a big hug. I think the temple. What? Is hug you back. what? You didn't whisper oh, anything to me. I I, I told oh, you that when I whispered it. Oh. The temple's gone. Oh my. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Like, is this like, destro how like destroyed, fix like destroyed, yeah. destroyed, like he did not. Like rubble. Is this what? It's gone, gone. Like Do divine, like okay. a couple, like gone. a couple buildings, like a couple buildings around the temple, so, and the temple look like they're. Can rubble. I eat straw? Oh I'm no! Sure. Yeah, that <laughs> guy. Guy, guy is saying this in a normal carrying tone. He's not like, holy shit, the oh, temple's okay. gone. <laughs> if this is how well, after Reed goes like... to tell Calandra, he's not hiding it from the party. No, no, no. I, just, I wasn't sure who to tell first. I was like, should I just tell Calandra? Is she gonna like freak out? I'll tell guys. And then Probably. I'll tell Calandra anyway. <laughs> no. Well, okay, a little bit, but not for why you. Would Calandra. Think. You're all right. I. I need to unpack some emotions, maybe. I, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just one wondering if. Oh maybe... no! All your stuff was in there. No, well, there was well, stuff in there, but no, no. There was no. people in there. Well, yeah, well, the friends. It, it... And the Vivalda and Guy is from <laughs> while you guys are having this conversation. Uh, you hear the two of you also hear the other conversations going on around the crowd. Okay. And so what you gather was sometime last night and sometime between midnight and dawn. There must have been a storm, a, a sudden storm or something, because there was a lightning strike that destroyed three buildings on the alley on the one side. And they're just rubble now. And they're just, rubble. you can see the smoke and steam coming up from them. And that there's nothing left but rubble of these three buildings. Oh dear! It was such a good buffet. Cal Calandra, Calandra. I have I, my memory is a little um, horrible sometimes. What was uh, what was the card she pulled? And also, what was the deal you made again? I kind of forget. El Eldred looks at you and goes, "Do we want to talk about this here?" Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's just scooch on down out of earshot of everyone else real quick. And then, same question. Yeah. <laughs> in non-carrying tones. Only heard right, amongst party members. Okay, so you get down to the docks. Um, the docks, as usual, are kind of busy, but you could yeah. actually make your way down one of the docks, partially out towards the ships, Water. away from where the busyness is, yeah, and like find one an of the area docks that's kind of... While you're out yeah, in like the open, the... you're not having anybody right on you listening. Yeah. Like one of the piers where there might not be a ship docked at the right. moment. That's kind of, oh, they all yeah. have ships, but it seems well, I like we were everyone's in in, inland, not on the ship. Nobody's really. gotcha. So, okay. Uh, hmm. Claudra, again. What did the cards say? Also, what was the deal again? 
Did any of them so, have to affect your future or present at all? I kind of... <laughs> oh, also, before I forget, and Guy just puts his hand out in the middle of the circle that he's assumed is there. I don't care, and closes his eyes. I don't care who has them. I regret what I did. Could you please put the cards back into my possession? Because I don't have them, and I'm worried deeply now who does due to what I just saw. I'm not, I, there's no judgment. I'm not looking. I check my pockets. I don't want to know who. I just kindly <laughs> ask for the cards to be placed into my hand. No recriminations. Do I, do I find anything in my pockets, Paul? Some uh, grease, wise? some bacon grease residue. I can mm. tell you. Really got to no, really take him to a low pad. Does anybody do anything? The lander's going to be like, Calandra's gonna be like, they're in my corset. Eyes. They're in my corset. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, do you need a private moment to get them out? Or. <laughs> oh, baby, you can see what's under there. That's not the issue. The issue is you've got a little banana and you've got, you know, that whole gambling problem. So, like, I put them up for. I don't want them, I don't want to keep them. They're not mine. They're mm. yours. Oh, you know I what? Understand that. Then Why fine. Are you, fine. you know what? On your armor. Because it's hot. Like temperature-wise. <laughs> no, it's. I you mean, know. It, it caused a lot of chafing, probably, but like. It's... Well, uh, all right, fine, Calandra. You know what? You don't want to trust this to me. Fine. Give it to Butt Trumpet. Oh, oh, oh. I trust that. No, Reed. No, no. It's all right. <laughs> I trust you in different ways. I trust you to be quiet. <laughs> and take things. But Trumpet, I okay. think I can trust them just fine with the guarding of a magical item and not use it improperly. They were the most reticent to dabble with. I'm, I'm accepting this responsibility, but I'm just very shocked that I'm being trusted. <laughs> Why wouldn't I trust you, But Trumpet? Because I'm derpy. No, your magic powers have side effects. That doesn't mean you're derpy. <laughs> You just have, like, a d addendum to when you use magic. It's slightly different. It's not your I fault. I with the big words. Such big words. It's not a big word. It's like a medium word. Calandra, would you at least trust okay. Butt Trumpet with magic cards? So, I, I, she, she looks at guys and she's like, it's, you know, yes, absolutely. I will give the cards to Butt Trumpet. Because yes. okay. let's be honest. You and I are people with problems with excess. I'm not That's going fair. to disagree with that. That's Eldred fair. says, oh, yes, the two fair. of you should really work on that. Okay, I but will. if yeah. Butt Trumpet ever doesn't want to You're hold them, I again. hold them next. I'm next. I'll keep that in mind and take it under advising. And that's why they're in charge of them. Calandra? So, Butt Trumpet, mark that down. You have, uh... Yeah. You have the, the deck trial. Of, deck of Lycanthropy The deck or known as the trial. <laughs> yeah. Deck yeah. of Lycanthropy. Guys, you were saying, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, it was more of just a reiteration of the questions to Calandra. Uh, so, uh, did you do anything that maybe could have been interpreted to remove the place where that I worked? Yeah, this is my fault. How yeah. was it? All right, so question. Was it something with the deck or the other bit? I, I think it was the other. Okay, so I don't have I, to I'm... worry about other lightning strikes randomly happening. Good. Okay. Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, you, you work there? I'm confused. Guys, you work there? No. No. Remember, I, remove I did the, the extra... You said remove the place that you were. No. I literally pulled a car that said I could control the storm for, like, it felt like a time. So I got concerned. No. When a building you didn't that have a, a friend worked at, did you? Maybe it was no, uh. no. I had nightmares about piles of dead bodies hmm. and the screaming oh. of the un of the not dead, slightly there, yeah, and people getting crispy. I had other issues to work out with. Um, no, but no lightning-related ones. So that's why I was less concerned. That's why I was. Wondering, Calandra, what, what was uh, the what was the deal you made exactly with your your buddy 
your pal. <laughs> With Gary. Uh, oh, yeah. yes. Gary. Yeah. Gary. Gary. I forgot. I forgot that nickname. <laughs> I don't like any of the options that he gave me. Your BL's so above. Here, again, we've discussed this. I'm a bad negotiator. I probably just shouldn't talk ever. Um, nah, no, you're I, fine. Mostly. I really. I asked him for a lot of things. Mm. Oh, money? Do you get money? I didn't get any money. Did you get money? I didn't, oh. I didn't mm. get any money. I, yeah, I really... Um, gems? Did you get gems? It they was, could be turned into money. I know, and I didn't get any of those either. No, I Royalty wanted, brings someone back from the dead, or uh, what's the third one genies can't do? So that's a good option for a demon. <laughs> Uh, fall in love. That one. I, no, I don't know who's doing it. So none, don't ask. None of those. None of those. <laughs> none, yeah. of none of those. No, it was, it was, I didn't want to have to, you know, work at the temple anymore. I didn't want you guys to be in danger oh. or affected by anything that had to do with me. Ooh, that wording Ooh. is scary on a different level but go on i okay my i think that specifically i just said that i wanted you all of you to be safe from from what from people that are looking possibly for me Ooh, that implies you might be teleported away randomly. That's not a good thing, Kalandra. I see you thinking. That's not necessarily no, a good thing. No, that's just, you know... For I've, Kalandra, Eldred says, isn't that already a been there, done that sort of thing? I mean, it, thanks to thanks to Bad Viv, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... It's not right. No, it was it was a bad one. It's fine. Well, thank you. I guess we're safe then. I wasn't. I wasn't very careful. I know with my wording, like at all. Okay. All right. Well, Um, sounds like it's just the. So yeah, this is this is all me. Well, I don't know. It's not your fault. No, 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 no. No, that's not what I was implying. It was more. No, but it is. That's fine. No, I was worried that. Well, you know how we would also... You magically teleporting could be one thing. Another way that we wouldn't be harmed by the people following you is if we are all dead. It's another way that would work. Or if they're all dead. Or if I'm dead. You know. Well, I mean, you could be dead, but they could still come after us because we knew you. All right, this is just taking a very morose tone. No more. No more of this. Yeah, let's let's just not be dead. You know what? I need a drink. Anyone want to get a drink at the Rubber Ducky and not hopefully pay an exorbitant oh. amount of money? Ooh. Eldred. So I do. What, Eldred, are you a Pokemon now? <laughs> I want a drink. Eldred, 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 Eldred. Eldred. Don't trap me, don't trap me. Did, did he take a blow to the head that I didn't notice? <laughs> I don't remember. Well, we did get blown up. Just yeah. a singe. Yeah, he did. We did. You know what? We did get blown up. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Hey, let's go. A rubber ducky. Again? Okay, so how That's are you finding the, the rubber ducky? Uh, we look. I'm gonna ask the first eyes. short person I see. A halfling um, comes out of a barrel and stabs Reed. <laughs> Where's rubber ducky? Ah, stop stabbing me! Where's rubber ducky? <laughs> Reed, give me a persuasion or deception check. Your choice. <laughs> Die, traitor. <laughs> Persuasion or what? Perception? De- no, deception. deception. Oh, deception. Oh, okay. Use your <sighs> charisma. Mm. What is that? Mm. Yeah, I got eight. I went persuasion. A person just says, <laughs> I don't know. Fine. Somebody roll me a 20 sided, <laughs> please. I'm too afraid to. Otherwise, I would. Because I've been this whole night. Yes, Viv. Okay. Uh, you ask enough people, and one eventually says, well, yeah, it's about two blocks down. There's an alley. Go down the alley. You'll see the duck. It'll 
You'll be, you'll know you're there. Oh, please let it be a duck with freaking piercings and blood coming out of its bill and sorry, just a real duck. metal duck. That's that's in the other alley, the bloody duck. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> da, uh, around the corner from the from the metal from the metal duck. So you head you head it's down there, you go down the alley. And it's an alley filled with a lot of garbage. There's people sleeping in on the ground in the alley. Uh, you go like half a block, and there is basically just hanging out on a pole on top of the pole is a carved wooden duck painted black with two big X's, red X's painted over each of the eyes. And the wings are painted like flames. <laughs> And the tongue's sticking out the side. And uh, that's and there's a set of stairs going down that, in, into, uh, you see a door at the bottom of the stairs. Is that, is that what a rubber duck would look like? So what All do you right. do? I'll go down. I'll go down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> Let's go. Okay, you go if down. It's here. It's okay. <laughs> I wonder if this is where Murph keeps his coffin. (laughs) Great. Have a candy. What? Oh, okay. Candy. So you go in. It is a dark, a dark room. It's a pretty large room. Uh, Lots of smoke from pipes and cigars and such. It looks a lot of people in corners. You just kind of see shadows and occasionally the glint of an eye or something like that. (laughs) There are stairs in the back that spiral stairs that go up. There's a hallway that goes down. There's a bar in the center that has some lights behind the bar by by the kegs. Valda and Gaius, the two of you probably would just notice it. At first, it looks like a normal, dark, kind of dangerous bar. Gaius, you especially recognize this. Vivalda, it just looks really dark to you. But the okay. more you're looking around engaging things, you're noticing shapes that kind of could make shapes similar to ducks and eggs and stuff in stuff that's around, like the top of a post or, you know, in the tiles on a table or things like that. Mm. You're just noticing a lot of duck shapes here and there that you don't notice at first, but upon second glance, it kind of, it catches your eye here and there. And now that you know that they're there, it's kind of like you're seeing more of them. There's an unsettling amount of ducks here. So that was your friend, City. That's a great question. Uh, Do we see Murph anywhere? Uh, Give me a perception check there, Gaius. Two. Ah, 11. There you go. That's a lower, lower one for you. Yeah, no, you don't see him at all. Hmm. No Murph, but it is kind of dark, and there seems to be more than one floor, at least. You can ask the barkeeper well, if he's around. I was gonna say, what, what time is it outside? It's uh, it's starting to get dark. Oh, you know what? Yeah. We're here way early for Murph. I yeah, think. he might not be, you know... Here yet. You know, all... Oh, you know, he might not be doing that yet. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Uh, is there at least an open table somewhere, Paul, where we could sit and keep an eye on the door and everything? Uh, actually, it's pretty well packed in here. You're not really seeing any open tables. There's maybe the occasional chair or space at the bar, but that's about it. So uh, we saw, like, you said stairs going up and everything? Yeah. Okay. It does it. Does that look like it potentially is more seating for guests, or...? Uh, it's so smoky in here and dark that the stairs seem to go up pretty high a number of floors. Um, oh, okay. You're not exactly sure what's on the upper floors. Anyone want to go talk to the barkeep? I can go do that and see if we can get at least some drinks and maybe a place yeah. to wait. Well, I'm not going to talk to the bartender. I always screw it up. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, all... I'm not the most charismatic, but Trump, you're, you're, you're kind of charismatic. You win more people over than the rest of the party. Uh, Ooh, this is true. You're good at talking to people, but Trump. 
what what's the you know what, 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 what do I say? You don't want to do it. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable, I'll go do it. I was just saying. Um, Elder goes, I'll go we... with you, butt trumpet. I'll, I think you, you I go. think you can do it. Yeah, okay, I what will. do I need to say? We're well, looking for Murph. Steve, looking for Murph. Maybe a round of drinks for your friends as guys slips a couple gold coins into your hand, and uh, maybe uh, a table for us to sit at if there's one available somewhere, which he then gives like another gold coin over to. Yeah. I'll certainly give it a yeah. whirl. I have faith. Okay. You, should, you should sit on you should sit on Eldred's shoulders and look really, really tall. Then they'll probably definitely give us a table. Yeah, that'll that really kick him. Is that a wizard in a goblet under that trench coat? Or are you just happy to see me? Uh I was I think it's like a three cobalt joke or something. But yeah, okay, that so works too. Eldred takes your hand <laughs> and walks over to the bar with you, butt trumpet. I don't, don't, no, I, I don't think that's the right vibe for here. <laughs> 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 Nothing personal as friends, just something tells me we'll get a lot further if that's not the intro. Eldred goes, okay, good point. Reaches down, picks you up, and places you on the bar. A uh, bartender comes over, they have a shaved head. <laughs> Uh, a big scar across the face, wearing a tank top, and uh, arms covered in tattoos that go up the neck. And uh, looks at you and says, Hey there, my little friend. What what can I get you? Well, my uh, friends and I over there would very much appreciate uh, a place to sit. Slide a couple of points over. A couple of drinks, and uh, perchance... If anyone's seen Murph tonight. Are you blue? <laughs> Very observant, yes. Stockany, I my my eyes aren't so good. Um I'll tell you what, normally I'd take these coins without a problem, but you you're here Murph told me about you. He they put the coins back towards you and says, uh You're not gonna find seating around here too much. It's pretty well packed right now. And we don't have any rooms. But we do have Murph. Go up the, the stairs. You're going to go up to uh, the top the top floor. He's in the cafe. Thank you. And uh, what was your name? Marge. Thank you. You'll see the sign. It says the Dirty Duck. Perfect. Wouldn't ex- or accept anything less. Okay. Have a good one. Tell Murph I said hi. Will do. And he owes me dinner. Right. Tile my way on over. Okay, you toddle your way back to the group? Yeah. So, uh, I heard dinner. Um, Madge says to go up the stairs to the top floor and that Murph is in the cafe. Called the Dirty Duck. All right, let's. Uh, it's a Dirty yep, Cafe. Why not? Okay, so that where you go? That's where I'm going. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The uh, two floors above you look to be rooms. Uh, there's people hanging out. None of them look very savory. A lot of <laughs> sailor types. A lot of non-sailor types. A lot of non-type types. Um, it, it looks rather unsavory everywhere you go. You get up to the third floor, there's more rooms, but the one section has, um, it, it kind of looks like it was once destroyed, but people have kind of boarded it up, and there's like a not very sturdy looking set of swinging doors, and over top of it, there is, uh, a picture of a duck with wide eyes and little lines coming up over it as it stands amongst some garbage, and it says the dirty duck. Mm. But the food there's yeah, terrible. That was easy. Underneath it yeah. says, "Best food in Seven Rivers." Go find out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm buying that. Ooh, I can judge the food. Yes. I'll try one of. I'll try one of everything. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. So what do you do? I'm, I'm going I go in. Through. Go okay. in. If yeah. it's if there's room under the swinging doors, like well, like limbo under. <laughs> okay. 
you go in and it's a definitely a different vibe in there. It still has that kind of sea shanty kind of vibe to it, but almost mixed with a red lobster kind of thing going. It's this kind of really Ugh. cheesy looking restaurant-y feel, but still done with like old washed up boards and and stuff like that. And it's pretty, there's not a lot of people in here. But in the back you see um, you see Murph sitting at a table slurping what looks like might be really big thick spaghetti or something but like he, he's just chomping away. He has a big bowl of it in front of him. And that's where we're going to call it a night. But is it spaghetti? You don't know. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Tune in next week, same Grognard time, same Grognard channel, and let's see uh, what happens with Murph and see if they find out anything else. No matter where you go or who you meet, just remember, be kind.